Make sure to stand till the end. In some cases, it could be something super simple that most people never think about checking on the multi air Fiat engine. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Fiat 500 and if you have check engine light on and any of the two following codes, I'm talking about code uh, P1522 or code P1523, stay with us. We'll explain what most likely causes that here based on our experience at the shop and how we can fix that. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos and if you guys need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from and you can guys save a ton of money so let's start on it now so with that being said let's explain what we have specifically here guys this is a fiat 500 apart 1.4 turbo but even if you have a different multi-air engine you may get that code again and uh, that uh, that could be the fix for yours so if you look right here on the back side that's where the multi-air system is located you have four solenoids for the four cylinder engine uh, it controls the valves on each cylinder for the intake valves guys uh, now uh, 1522 indicates the uh, problems with the oil viscosity 1523 uh, is practically oil pressure but uh, now now, if you have problems with the viscosity, always remove the old deep stick, smell the oil and see, make sure that the oil level didn't increase. If it increased, you may have a leaking fuel injector that sprayed too much fuel and it leaked around the piston rings. Leaking fuel injector can dilute the oil and you can get these coats as well because diluted oil will be thinner and you may get these coats, both of them, because of that. Now, if you guys need to buy a good scanner, many of you ask me in the comment section below, uh, we'll recommend this one. I always uh, we get comments ask about that scanner it works on almost any car you can think of fiat alfa romeo american germans uh, asian guys italian all kind of cars it works on so it can pay itself off in one time use we'll put the link in the description of the video below if you want to see where you can get it from and uh, what uh, what uh, functions it supports but Check for leaking fuel injector and make sure the oil is not diluted. Number two, make sure the correct type of synthetic oil was uh, put in. I recommend to do an oil change and in some cases guys, okay, now uh, before doing the oil change, okay, go ahead, okay, and do an engine flush. The leaky moly stuff works amazing guys, okay, that's the leaky moly engine flush. I'm not kidding, we did a test, uh, does leaky moly work? on Porsche Cayenne the results were simply amazing guys uh, really old engine that looked like new when we open it uh, now by cleaning that you can often fix problems as well always replace the oil filter because a faulty oil filter that's plugged up may not deliver oil pressure as well that can that can be caused in some cases uh, too now something else guys that most people never think about okay you have a special filter that's known as the multi air filter and it's under the timing cover we have a special video that talks about it it's that little bitty hole there uh, with an allen wrench you remove the little bitty filter and if that filter is plugged up it can affect it as well and you can get any of these codes as well guys so i recommend to remove the uh, multi air filter replace it uh, change engine oil flush the oil system okay I recommend to change the filter after you flush the system, then flush the system, change engine oil, then change the multi-air filter, okay, and uh, if that doesn't fix the problem, you may need to remove the oil pan. When you remove the oil pan, you have a screen on the oil pump where it sucks oil, and if the oil hasn't been changed for a while, that oil screen may be plugged up with carbon buildup, especially if your uh, oil separator system and the PCV system doesn't work correctly, you may have carbon buildup and as a result, the oil pump may not be sucking enough oil, so you might need to clean it. And if that doesn't, doesn't fix the problem, it could be bad oil pump or bad um, multi-air brick. It's known as the brick, like the bricks that you build houses with. And that could be another problem, guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.